Hello, my rubber hearts. Welcome back to another Mythbusters mini episode. Today, we are going to take on a classic misconception. If rubber is black, it must be carbon black reinforced, right? Well, not always. It's true that carbon black is the most famous black filler in rubber. It gives rubber its strength, abrasion resistance and toughness. And that's why it's used in everything from tires to seals. But the color black doesn't always mean carbon black is there in reinforcing amounts. Here's what actually happens in practice. If you want the compound to look black, but you don't need the full reinforcement, you usually build the bulk of the recipe with white non-reinforcing fillers like calcium carbonate or clay. Then you add just a little bit of carbon black to color the compound. That way it looks black to the eye, but it doesn't have the strength or abrasion resistance you would expect from a fully reinforced formulation. Sometimes it's not even about the cost, but about meeting application requirements. Carbon black is electrically conductive, and if you load too much of it, you cross what is called the percolation threshold. That's when the carbon particles connect into a continuous network and suddenly your rubber becomes conductive. For many applications, especially insulating parts like cable covers or the electric gaskets, that's the last thing that you want. So you keep the carbon black low, just enough to color, but not enough to pass the conductivity threshold. And here's the important part. Without enough carbon black to reinforce, the rubber might look black, but mechanically it behaves more like a lightly filled or even non-reinforced compound. Two O-rings could look identical, but one could be a durable, properly reinforced nitrile, while the other could be a bargain version, color black with just a touch of carbon black and cheap fillers. The eye can tell the difference, but performance tests will. So the myth is busted. Black does not automatically mean carbon black reinforced. Sometimes black is just a color and you have to look beyond appearance to understand what's really inside the compound. And that's today's Mythbusters mini episode. Short, simple, but really useful to remember. Have you ever come across black rubber that turned out to be surprisingly weak or non-conductive when you expected the opposite? Share your experience in the comments. I'd love to hear your stories.